Hey guys, so today I'm filming a misguided haul. Before I start the haul, I thought I'd address um, my my whole aesthetic today. I'm feeling very witchy. As you might be able to tell, I actually got um, grey in my hair. I've got a few videos that I filmed before I changed my hair and got the grey that are going to go up after this video. So I feel like you might see like that I've changed my hair and then gone back to like my black hair. But no, it's just because they were filmed before. I never like get any colour in my hair. Um, so I'm really liking the grey actually. Tied in with like the jumper and like, my earrings and my jewellery and stuff. I'm feeling very like witchy. Um, but I quite like it. I feel pretty cool. But anyway, let's get into the haul. I've placed like probably four <laughs> misguided orders since like early October time maybe. And um, I haven't shown any of the stuff in my videos yet. So I thought I'd kind of like put them all together and show them in this like kind of collective misguided haul. I thought I'd start off with like the first order. So go in like chronological order. So the first thing I've got here is um, this kind of peachy pink um, velvet long sleeve dress. I really, really love the look of this on the website. I think this is part of the Amber Rose collection. It actually goes off the shoulder, so it's like an off-the-shoulder dress. And it's got this kind of um, crossover chest, like, with a um, deep V, and it's, like, ruffled on the side. I'm not sure how I feel about this when I actually tried it on. This is a try-on haul, as you might be able to tell from the title. This is the only thing I won't be trying on, just because, like, I can't really wear it, basically. The way the chest area works, because it's, like, um, across the shoulder, it's, like, quite deep in the front. Um, so I don't really know what bra I'd wear with it. Like I tried wearing it like braless as well and because the material is quite thin, it's very booby. Um, you definitely see your nipples um, through it quite um, prominently. Um, and I don't know, just me personally, like, I don't have small boobs, um, so it is quite booby for me. And I just haven't quite figured out like how to style it yet. I'm not even sure if I would be able to wear it with a strapless bra, but I just need to kind of like figure out how I'm going to style it. I just couldn't bring myself to like return it. So I'm going to give it another go, like trying on, trying to figure out how to style it. And if I really can't style it, then I'll probably just sell it on my Depop, so... Yeah. In that same order, I picked up two almost identical play suits. Whoops. Um, this one um, it looks like this. It's um, a powdery blue. Sorry, blue makes my camera go really dark. I think it's just all cameras. Like, blue just Fs it up completely. It's this um, stripey, like, powdery light blue um, and navy and, like, white striped play suit. Um, it's off the shoulder again. Um, and it's long sleeved with, like, the cuffed... It's like cuffed at the sleeve as well. The only real difference between them, obviously, apart from the colour, is also that this one's in a standard eight. Um, I got the other one in a precise petite eight. So this one fits a tiny bit more baggy than the other one. So the second one is this one, and this one is just completely monochrome. So just black and white, um, stripy. It's the same cut and the same style and everything. It goes across the shoulders, um, long sleeves with the um, cuff sleeves on the bottom. Um, the only thing is this is kind of like a single material, so it's a tiny bit thinner. Um, not that it makes it see-through or anything, but it's just a bit more lighter um, wearing. And um, obviously this is petite, so it fits a bit kind of shorter as well. I know they're really similar, but I kind of got both so that I could kind of try them on and like see which one I prefer and return one of them. But then I ended up liking both too much. I kind of did that thing where I was like, no, they're still a bit different. So I get both of them. Whoops. The next thing I got in that order is this pair of shoes. They're just this kind of quite similar colour to the dress actually. That first dress I showed like a peachy, so it's I guess more like terracotta um, kind of colour. I absolutely love these. As you can see they've got quite a thick uh, platform. Makes it quite comfortable actually. A lot, a lot of platforms can make shoes like really hard but these don't feel like really hard and like hurt the bottom of your feet. They're actually really comfortable. I wore these a lot during my first term at York and I just really like these. Uh, I bought them because I realised they didn't really have any kind of simple like flat shoes. I'm um, like slip on and go kind of shoes. Most of my shoes, pretty much all of them are like either boots or like heeled boots or they're trainers. And I don't know, I felt like I just wanted some flat shoes that weren't trainers. Just kind of like an everyday kind of slip on shoe. I've gotten a few like pump shoes. But I don't know, I always end up just not liking them. I don't know, they don't, I don't feel like they really suit my feet so... I don't know, I thought this was a good option for kind of flat everyday shoes and they've been really helpful for that. The last thing I got from that order um, was this bag. I absolutely love this bag. It's like a crushed velvet kind of silver bag and it's so pretty, like even in the camera right now, because of that crushed velvet look, it feels, it looks almost like iridescent. It just like glows really nicely in the light. I love this grey kind of silvery, kind of metal-y kind of shade that it has to it. Kind of a bit like a sack and then it rolls and then it just clips like that. I don't really have a proper clutch bag. I think I've got like one 
Do I even have that? I had one clutch bag that I bought for prom, secondary school prom, so that would have been like almost four years ago now. <laughs> I feel like it's a really good size as well. Like for going out, you can still fit like literally anything you'd need anyway. I love velvet. I don't know, I feel like velvet's so like classic, but it can also be like quite edgy and yeah, I just really, really like this bag. It also really fits in with my aesthetic today, doesn't it? For my next order, I placed an order for three, like, play suit pajamas or teddies, as they're also known as. And I actually returned one of them because it didn't really fit me properly. Um, but one of the ones that I kept is this one here. I love, love, love this one. This one is so, like, sweet. It's obviously this, like, pink and white stripy colour, so it has that kind of, like cutesy like bubblegum kind of vibe to it. Of the three that I ordered I thought it would be my least favourite and it was actually the cheapest but it's actually probably my favourite one. It's so so comfy, it's got this really nice like soft cotton um, kind of material. The straps like tie up, you like tie them up yourself. It crosses over in the chest and the crossover is like really flattering like it actually crosses over and covers your boobs. The one that I returned actually was like a black kind of satin one and what I didn't like about that one like the crossover was just so wide like it literally Literally didn't cover my boobs at all. There was no way I could wear it. I just really, really love this one. Um, I just love like play suit pajamas or like teddies in general. I feel like not many people talk about them. I really, really love them. I feel like they're super comfortable and so underrated. I feel like I'm always either too hot or too cold when I'm sleeping. So this is like a really nice balance wearing a teddy. And also, if you're trying to like jazz up your, you know, jazz up your sleep game, then play suit pyjamas are the way to go. <laughs> and then the other play suit pyjama teddy that I kept from my order is this one. Um, I absolutely fell in love with this um, when I saw it on the website. It has that kind of gothic vibe but it's like so pretty i don't know um as you can see it's got this like kind of like sheer mesh panel um for the top half um with this kind of like floral embroidery and then the bottom is just like a satin material and then obviously the kind of like main focus um, of the place it actually is this like harness kind of choker um, bit here. I just fell in love with this. I loved it. I thought it was really really like gorgeous and I feel like I'm actually gonna wear this out one day like I just don't even care. Um, I feel like this is acceptable to wear out as like an actual outfit. The only thing I was a bit disappointed with is I feel like the harness bit was kind of not very thought out. It's a bit like flimsy and also it just it's a bit too loose so it makes the kind of front bit sag a bit. But I mean it's not that bad even if it's a bit like loose at the front because it is just for bed. It also crosses over in the back by the way like that. I love every kind of aspect of it, it's so gorgeous. The next thing I got is this kind of sheer mesh, uh, just simple t-shirt. This was amazingly cheap. I think full price anywhere on the website, it's £8 which is already you know, an amazing price, but also with its student discount, it came to around like five pounds something. These kind of mesh t-shirts have been really popular. I've been seeing it a lot around recently, especially on like Instagram. The metallic ones have like kind of like silver kind of grey sheen to it. I watched a video of Claudia's kind of recently um, where she was wearing it and she said it was from Urban Outfitters so I just need to have a look to see if they have it on the UK Urban Outfitters. But anyway this will do me fine and because it was so cheap and I love it so much obviously I don't mind having um, like if I do find that metallic one this in addition to it. I just feel like these are such a nice way to kind of like really jazz up your outfit. You could just have like something underneath it like peeping through like a bralette or something. It's a really simple kind of put together outfit but it just looks like you put so much effort in. The only thing is I kind of wish I'd gotten this a tiny bit bigger. I think I ordered it in a size a size 8 and I feel like I wish I'd gotten a size 10. It's still oversized and baggy but I wish it could be that bit more like oversized. I still really really love it. I'm still definitely gonna wear it. And the final thing, this is the most recent thing I ordered. I think I got this on like the boxing day. It's this long line faux fur bomber jacket. Can we even discuss this? I know bomber jackets have been a thing for a while now actually but I just I'm not really into them I don't really like them personally I like um jackets and coats to be like longer on me but I feel like bomber jackets are always like kind of waist length or that really awkward like just hit you on the hip kind of length and I really don't like them but then like I kind of recently saw that they had like long line bomber jackets so I was going through misguided and I saw that they had this faux fur one I've wanted a faux fur kind of coat for so so long so when i saw they had a long line bomber jacket that was also faux fur you know i had to be all over that this was one of my favorite purchases from misguided and just generally it's so so soft like every time i've worn it i think i've worn it like two or three times i've been complimented loads on it i wore it out the other night actually everyone was stroking my jacket because it's so so soft and so like 
cuddly it feels like you're wearing a big blanket um it's really really warm as well so i love everything about this um i got this in a size 10 which i'm really happy about i actually wanted the eight i was going to order the eight and then it went out of stock like literally as soon as i was ordering it so i just grab the 10 but i'm really happy i did that because the 8 probably still would be oversized but not quite as much as this is i feel like this has a really nice ruggedy kind of fit to it and i really really love it so yeah that's everything uh, for the misguided haul i really hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to thumbs up the video if you did enjoy it um leave me a comment down below subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel already and yeah i'll see you in my next video guys bye